guests. Well, they are leading Magic 92.5 each and every morning. They've been a part of San Diego Morning Radio for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, Jagger and Christy. <laughs> Oh, take a seat. Good to have you guys. Well, Good thanks for having us. We brought what you toys that? for Toys for Tots. Yes. Oh, that is fantastic. Toys for Tots. Yes. There you go. I love it. Yes. I love it. It's so cool you guys are doing that. That's awesome. Oh, this is, this is great. Oh, but wait, wait. Good there work. was one thing in here for you. Uh -oh. oh, what was in there? Um, a Jagger and Christie chip clip. A chip clip? <laughs> I can take that. <laughs> That's I don't need you. a bag, but I'll take the chip clip right here. There you we'll go. Put that, we'll put that right up here. We'll put that right up here. Hey, go. good to have you guys here. Thanks Fantastic. for having us. Fantastic. Well, we hear you guys each and every morning on uh, Magic 92.5. Mm -hmm. And uh, I heard you guys this morning. And you guys have the uh, the Christmas Wish. Yes. 2015. You guys have been doing this. You guys heard about this, the Christmas yeah. Wish that goes on. Um, <laughs> Been going on for about uh, about four or five years yeah. now. Mm -hmm. This morning, it actually started though. Right? Yes, it started today. Granting wishes. We did the wishathon last week. We were on for 14 hours. We raised a lot of money thanks to you guys. Yes, thank you. Yeah. You yeah. donated. Um, so we take that money, turn it around, start making wishes come true. We started today, and we had Uncle Tony on today. Yeah, Uncle Tony. Uncle he, Tony. Uh, I, I heard that, and uh, he was an uncle to some of his nieces, his nephews. Yeah. Yes. And he brings them around to, to practice, and right. he's like the guy. Well, the thing about Uncle Tony is he's only 24 years old. So he is truly Uncle of the Year, which is what we made him today. Yeah. Um, his mom actually nominated him. He lives with his sister. He helps his sister pay bills. She's a single mom of four, uh, three-month-old twins, I believe. Twins, yeah. And twins. then a nine and a ten-year-old yeah. that is the, the kids that he takes to soccer games and carts them all over where they, wherever they need to go. And he, he helps pay the bills. He works hard. He goes to school. Great, great guy. His sister says he should be dating, <laughs> but he's taking the kids around. So yeah. <laughs> he was a great guy. To do. So he, they got a Christmas tree. Uh, the U.S. Grant gave him Christmas dinner. Uh, we took care of some of his bills. We put new tires on his car because he takes the kids in the car. We don't want to have a flat on that. So he got the whole nine yards, and we made him a plaque that said he was the uncle, uncle of, of the year. year. That's fantastic. Yeah. That is fantastic. I, I love that. It's all because of you guys. You guys created this. There's so many deserving families, of course, deserving individuals. Right. Um, and the, the rules are you can uh, you can you just can't nominate yourself nominate somebody else somebody but else, not yourself yeah. it's always right? better to give yeah. than to receive to okay pay yeah. it forward kind of thing right. well what I, what I want to know is is what is the secret to your success a lot of you might not know this but they met back in 1996 when you guys with 100.7 back then right. yeah. and uh, a couple years later you guys got married and you're still married yes you're so still right. married <laughs> We just celebrated 18 years in September. Yeah, how how was that pop? Because I mean, I've been married. I've been married for four years. Right. And I and I love my wife. But you couldn't work with her. Hell no! I could <laughs> not work with my wife. It's what? I mean, how does what is the secret to your success when it comes not just a radio program? A lot yeah. of those DJs come wishes? in and out. Is that what you did? Is it yeah. wishes? Yeah. The yeah. wishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we we don't really analyze it. Yeah, it just works. I guess we always kind of said, well, well. We didn't kind of say, when they hired me on to be on Star 100.7 with him, they said, now, Christy, you know, if this thing doesn't work out, you won't mind finding another job, yeah. will you? Because like, Jagger's yeah. staying. You're <laughs> going. Exactly. I'm like, okay, all right. But, you know, we do, we do find, there's challenges sometimes, but, um, you know, I think in our personal life, we just kind of get along. Yeah. And we do, the only time we ever fight is when we're at work on the air. Yeah. And I think, and so we've and, all experienced it. Yeah, fights. right. Yeah, that's it. We just, I mean, because we're kind of headstrong, and you know, she want to do one, do it one way. I want to do it the other way. But it usually works out. And I, we've never argued on the air, have we? Have you ever heard us argue on the air? No. Anybody? No. Anybody? On, yeah. I, I've never heard it. Do you want to hear us argue on yes. the air? Yes. 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 Absolutely, we want to hear you guys. No, argue. because if we, we did, on. if we did, I would lose, and I, don't, I always lose. And Jago doesn't lose. I always lose. I don't lose. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right? Happy wife, happy life. Of Thank course, we've always, we've exactly. always heard that. We've always heard yeah. that. Um, I, it's what, what I what I love about you guys is uh, it's my it's probably one of my favorite things that you guys created. It's years ago you guys created this. 
the War of the Roses. Oh, yeah. And a lot of us know the War of the Roses uh, here in San Diego. Why don't you guys explain to everybody what the War of the Roses is? War of the Roses is where if you think someone's cheating on you, you email us and let us know. And then what we do is we call your boyfriend with you on the phone, and we offer him a dozen very romantic but he roses. Doesn't no, you're on. Yeah, he phone. doesn't know you're there. <laughs> and so we see what name he gives. By the time you've emailed us and let us know something may be happening, he usually gives the wrong name. So then that's when the explosions start yeah. and everyone goes at each other. Sometimes it works out. Most of the times it doesn't work out. And a little behind the scenes, Jeff, we don't always put the good ones on. <laughs> yeah. You know, and that's for you guys only because people don't want to hear good ones. They, right. They want to hear the, you know, sure, you, yeah, we, exactly. we, we want battles. Yeah. We want battles. yeah. And, and I remember, and we, we talked off camera before when you guys came in, and we've never met, we have never met before the show. And I remember. But this but is a I, great story. Yeah, it is. You know, so so I feel like I've known you guys for a long time. So I have a 12 year old son, but this this was a, a, a call back in 2011. I had to look it up before the show tonight <laughs> too, because it was one of the most Research. epic ones. Good. And it was a guy named Kenny. It was a guy named Kenny. Sure. And Kenny had a girlfriend, and the girlfriend was suspicious. And she said, "Hey, can you can you make a call and see would he give me roses or would he give somebody else roses?" So Jagger, you play Jagger. Okay. I'll play Kenny. Oh. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So uh, Kenny, uh, we have a dozen romantic roses. Um, who would you like to send the roses to? Yeah, I'd like to give them to. Uh, can you give it to Troy? Another guy. It was another guy. It was another guy. And you know, which is which is totally fine. I, I love that. But it, it stuck in my mind because my son was in the car and after it was over, he listened and we were almost to a school. He goes, why did a guy give another guy roses? Teachable moment, right, Jeff? And it was the first time I ever experienced uh, uh, <laughs> which what every single guy that right. you guys call say, it's everybody has the same language they speak. We call it the tap dance. Yeah, and I I love it. I love it. It's uh, sometimes it's uncomfortable to even listen. But so to. you had the conversation with your son then, yeah. and you explained what was going on there. I did, wow. I did, and it was because of you guys. Wow! And you know, uh, it was really, it was really awesome. There's, there's really fun moments on there, and the moment that I learned, uh, the the biggest moment I learned is. Don't cheat on my wife because you're going to call me. Because we'll call and, you. Um, we have your number, by the way, Jeff. Yeah. Right. No, I, yeah. I'm sure you we have your number. We'll dial. find you. Yeah. <laughs> what are some of the most uh, memorable moments over the years? I've had a lot of calls. I got to tell you, my favorite was, and this takes a special kind of woman too. There was a guy who had a storage shed, and he had he had laid carpet in it, had a bed so in it. Had nightstands, lamps, <laughs> and a radio. And utterly okay. Wrong. So what was happening is he was he was getting these women to meet him at his storage shed, <laughs> right? And they would do whatever they do in the storage shed with the door shut. And then so now that's ladies, what, I ask you. I mean, you know what I'm going to ask you, right? <laughs> Guys talking slick and. Hey, come on, you want to hang out with me? He takes you to his storage, storage shed. shed. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'll meet you at storage shed really? at 303. Seriously? <laughs> Not twice, and I'll know it's you. Oh, and my God. Roll yeah. up the yeah. door. Yeah. Really? Is that what happened? Needless no, to I say, got a little Cavassier in the corner, yeah. baby. Right. <laughs> Needless to say, he gave the roses to another woman. So I think she probably worked out it worked out okay for her on that one. Yeah. I think that's the kind of guy you want to lose pretty quick. Well, I, uh, I, I agree. <laughs> I, I love what you guys are doing with War of the Roses. It's been epic throughout San Diego for so many years. Uh, the Christmas Wish. Uh, now it's 2015. Yep. Let's talk yeah. about Christmas. It's coming up. What do you mm -hmm. guys do for Christmas? Uh, gifts? Uh, yeah, you know. Well, I got a pretty good gift. Well, one, 1996, I got my engagement ring. And that was a really, that was probably the best. How Christmas. am I doing? Pretty good, right? Yeah, pretty darn good. <laughs> so wait, pretty darn so good. I, I hung the ring on the tree. Yeah, he did. And we played a game of hot, cold, hot, cold. Okay. And so she, so she was like, was hotter, so colder. As you got closer to the ring, hotter, hotter. And until she got the ring on the tree. And then she went, oh. Uh, what are we supposed to do now? <laughs> so, well, <laughs> call people. <laughs> so we did that. And then 2004 was a really great gift. He got me a horse. I, you know what? I, were, I, I heard I about that. I always wanted a horse, and my daddy would never get me one. And my daddy had just passed. And so, no, this was 2003. And, and he got, he, and, you know, and I was sad. I was a little depressed. And he said, come on, get in the car. And my birthday is on Christmas Day. 
And oh, is it really? Uh -huh. on yes, Christmas yeah. Day. And he, wow. so, so you've got every every year, you've got to raise yeah, the bar. Raise the bar, right? Please. And you have not <laughs> raised the bar since then, have you? There's no. I think well, no. But wait, wait, wait. Because <laughs> the, the, the thing about this horse was that he surprised me with the horse, and it kind of took me out of getting over losing my dad. But then it turned out the horse was pregnant. Oh wow! Six weeks later, I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't, if. The, I didn't know any better. I would think this horse is pregnant because she just kept getting a little bigger. You know, their gestation is like 11 months, and you don't really start to see them show until about seven, eight months. Well, th this was going on the eighth month. The baby was born April 30th, and she is now 11 years old, and she's a little wow. jumper. That's that's fantastic. Isn't that sweet? I, that's, that's, that's really a great story. Every, every every young girl that sits on Santa's lap, what do you want for Christmas? I want a pony, and mm -hmm. you actually I got delivered the pony. Yeah, a pony. You I got the pony. delivered on a pony. Santa and my dad. Wow, that's, that's really, yeah, but this, really it was For a moment, it was creepy because we were in our house in Serona Valley, and the horse was in Poway, and I said, you got to trust me on this. I need to blindfold you and put you in the truck. He did. Because so, I didn't want her to know what was going on, so I blindfold her, and, and that's a good 40-minute drive, and she never questioned me, never asked. That's how cool she is. Yeah, you ever tried that? Yeah. You ever tried that on a date? I yeah. tried that once. I ended up at the storage shed. Yeah. Yeah, right there you go. You're the guy. It's awesome. Here's the guy right here. <laughs> well, we can listen to you every morning. Magic 92.5 from, what time do you guys start? Like at Five in the morning. morning. Five, Five till 10. Yeah. Five to 10 yeah. every single morning. Well, thank yeah. you very much for what you guys do. It's our pleasure. It's a pleasure to listen to you after all the years. You guys continue to bring what you bring at the top level, and I love it, you guys. I, I love you, it. Jack. Magic 92.5 each and every morning. Thank you, guys. Christine, we come back. We will be live. Hey, stay where you are.